Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hello, my name is Alexis and today I'm going to show you what I pack for Disney whenever I go to the parks. So this bag is a Kipling bag. I think it's a higher end brand, but I did buy it at Marshalls. I have my little Stella Lou keychain and then this Kipling keychain. It came with the backpack. I think every Kipling backpack has this little guy on them. I really like the straps on this backpack. I'll try to link it below if I can find it online, but the padding is so nice. The straps are adjustable. There's a zipper right over here and that's where I keep my wallet. There's a main compartment zipper, a middle one, and then a smaller zipper. I also wanted to mention that this is what I would take to rope drop until I basically get kicked out of the park. Opening to close, this is what I would pack. No trips to the hotel room, I'm not renting a locker. Whenever we visit, we honestly never take any breaks. We're just go, go, go. Yes, it's very tiring, but I could care less because I have the best time when I'm there. That's just how my husband and I roll whenever we go to the park. It's funny because our last trip was to Disneyland and we took uh, my sister and my cousin and we were nonstop and they were just trying to catch up. But anyway, I don't really pack anything in this compartment. It's empty. This is where I keep like my easily accessible. I keep everything in pouches too. I keep hand cream because my hands are always dry. Disinfecting wipes. Hundreds, not thousands of people ride these rides. Slap bars and things like that. They're just covered in germs. So I always take this with me and I'm, I'm crazy. Sometimes you ride a ride though and you don't have enough time to wipe everything down so I also pack hand sanitizer for after the ride. I also like these backpacks because they come with a little key clip so you can just clip your keys so you're not like fumbling and looking for them. In here I have a bunch of junk. So I always pack sunblock. I normally pack a travel sized sunblock but I don't have that right now so I've got this big guy from the brand Sunbum. I buy this at Target. You can buy it anywhere. I think they sell it everywhere now. But it's our favorite sunscreen. I don't think Disney allows spray bottles. I could be wrong, but we always take the travel like cream. So pack your sunscreen, also pack a cap, a baseball cap or something. We always end up buying one because we always forget, but have that as well. Like a Polaroid type of camera. I know Polaroid is a brand, but I use Instax. I use like Fujifilm. Um, so this is an Instax Square 6. It takes photos that look like this, whereas like the Instax Mini, which I also take to Disney. So I either take my Mini or my Square 6, but the Minis take photos that look like this, and then the Square takes photos that look like this. So size comparison, like it's smaller, bigger. It doesn't stop there though. I also take this disposable camera. It's also by Fujifilm. I get this at Walmart. Target has them too. Then I have this pouch, which I call it like my technology pouch. Inside I have a charging cable, a portable charger, and a block just in case we're sitting down somewhere and I see a little outlet that I can use and I go ahead and pop my phone in so that way I don't have to waste like the juice on this. Yes, I called it the juice. I also take a micro USB charger because that's what my portable charger uses to charge itself. And I'm crazy and I take a fan. But this might be a staple for you too. I think everything that I'm talking about can either be excessive to some or like perfect to others or even like minimal. You know what I mean? So I pack a mini fan. If you're going to Florida, you're going to need this. I didn't really use it much at Disneyland. I know it gets hot in California. I'm from California, so I, I know like the, the temperatures and stuff there, but I have to pack this with me. I even packed it on our Disney cruise and it, we used it a lot. So I'll link the one that I use below, but there's so many different kinds of fans. I think the parks even sells fans that are handheld. When I growing up, I used to see, and I think we've purchased to these like spray fans where it fans you and it sprays water. If they sell them, it's because you need one, you know what I mean? And if I'm vlogging, I'll take my tripod, my camera charger, and my camera, which I'm using to film right now. I've never vlogged at Disney ever, which is so surprising to me, but I just, I've never, I don't know why. <laughs> I took my vlogging camera with me when I went to Disneyland and we were like three rides in and then I remembered, wait, I was supposed to vlog this. So that's everything that I have in my tech pouch. 
Also, a cool thing about this fan is that it's collapsible, so saves a little bit of space. Yeah. I also pack my own straws. Disneyland and Disney World do provide with straws, but they're made out of paper and sometimes they crumble in the drink and get all soggy, so I just take my own straw. I know they sell like metal straws that are collapsible that you can use, but I prefer plastic over metal straws. I know that's probably contradicting, but I, it's reusable, I'm reusing it, you know? So, I just don't like metal straws. It's just something about it. I also take a cash pouch, and I take my wallet, which I don't have on me right now. But if you were at Disney World, you don't need a wallet because all you need is a magic band, and you can purchase things with that. That is amazing. Although, I am I like that Disneyland is old school. Like, I like that you have to actually use your card, and you have a little ticket to go into the park. I think that's cool. They need to keep it that way, I feel like. I don't know, just like keep it as vintage for like respects for Walt, but also I know he's always moving forward and like he said it himself that like the park is never finished. There's always new things coming up anyway. I always take a light jacket with me. California is hot, but it gets super cold in the evenings, so you need a light jacket. Florida, and on the other hand, I always take a rainproof jacket. So I like this jacket, it's just a North Face jacket. You can like make it as small as possible. And it protects me from Splash Mountain, Cali River Rapids, the Florida rain. I love it so much. I love that it has zipper pockets too so you can keep your phone in, zip it up, it won't fall out, it won't get wet. You're good to go. Always pack something that'll keep you warm. This is pretty thin but also it's breathable, but it also can keep me warm if it's cold, if that makes any sense. I don't know, like, what the science is behind this, but my husband bought this for me when we were dating. So that's been a while. This is a lifesaver. Please, if you're going to Disney World, it's gonna rain. Pack something like this. Don't spend your money on a poncho. If you want a poncho, go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store or 99 cent store. They sell ponchos there. And lastly, I always pack a change of shoes. So I, I have pretty sensitive feet. I spent an entire day at Disney World in vans and by the next day, my feet were like dead. They hated me, they hated life. I was in misery, like I was so miserable. So from then on, I just like wear, <laughs> I wear vans, I'll get to the point. On my feet, I'm wearing vans or sandals, but I always have a shoe change throughout the day. So I wear regular shoes or sandals, like what I wear on my daily attire, but then I pack Nikes. I also stuff a pair of socks in there. Point is, is that it's really important, at least for me, to switch shoes, have different shoes. I always pack a pair of Nikes. They're really good on my feet. They're super cushiony. These are super cute. I feel like you can pair Nikes with anything too. But I also take my real shoes. When we go to Animal Kingdom, we always ride Cali River Rapids. For example, that day I would wear my Nikes when we walk into the park. But when we go to the ride, we'll switch over to our flip-flops, ride the ride, and then switch back to these once we're done with the ride because it, you get soaked there. And I don't like soggy shoes. So yeah, but yeah, that's, that's it. My bag's empty, that's all I pack on my trip to Disney. Just kidding, I pack a water bottle as well. This was on the floor. I normally don't put this in my backpack. I usually buy a clip thing. I don't know what they're called, but I clip it. I really clip it on this part of my backpack here so that it's hanging. I like these bottles because they're insulated and it keeps my drink cold. I never buy water at Disney either. I usually just get the free water that they have. I know Florida, water is awful so i usually just go to a starbucks i order a drink there and then i get a venti iced water their water is great so thank you guys so much for watching let me know your top three like disney essentials this might be excessive to some this might be minimal let me know how you pack whenever you go to disney i hope you're having a great day whenever you're watching this thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on my next one